Hey, Renicorns, it's Ellie. We're discussing several very serious topics again today. As we all know, there's been crazy stuff going on with Afghanistan and the Taliban. One of the Hebrew Israelite leaders that I tend to watch content from is Pastor Dowell, and he made a video about it. He's been making several videos about this topic, but as a man who owns firearms, as you guys can see in the screenshot here, he has really like explained what it means for our people here in the United States, what this means going on in other countries. Many people think that it's okay to strip our people of our Second Amendment right. Understand something, if that happens, the same thing that is happening in other countries is going to happen in this country. Understand, personally, I have lost two of my closest cousins due to gun violence, so I'm not condoning gun violence. I condone protection and the right to bear arms. The problem really isn't even our next door neighbor or a stray bullet. It's the government who intentionally does things like this and we are not able to protect ourselves. I highly recommend watching this video and a few others that are very recent of his that have discussed this topic. In other videos, he also talks about things like the economy, how to have a homestead, how to plant a garden, how to have a farm, how to build structures, whether it be a construction and housing or in residential or a commercial property. He even recently made a video about how lumber prices are going back down. If you guys remember the surge in prices earlier this year in 2021, lumber prices were all the way up. I do real estate, and so that was something I was paying a lot of attention to. Now, this next topic, while the other one is heart-bearing, this one hurts me so much to the core. We know that people are getting censored left and right talking about Ovid or the vaccine. Whether you're for or against vaccines, or whether you believe that Ovid is what the government is telling us that it is, people are being censored left and right. So now in reference to the vaccine, we're now being told that we cannot pray. This affects people who are part of any religion that prays, recognize themselves as Israel, or even those who are part of the occult. Listen. This policy was published on May 20th, 2020. When one scrolls down even further, you'll notice the next section that states, don't post content on YouTube if it includes any of the following. Treatment misinformation. Content that encourages the use of home remedies, prayer, or rituals in place of medical treatment, such as consulting a doctor or going to the hospital. Content that claims that there's a guaranteed cure for COVID-19. Content that recommends the use of ivermectin or hydroxychloroquine for the treatment of COVID-19. Claims that hydroxychloroquine is an effective treatment for COVID-19. Categorical claims that ivermectin is an effective treatment for COVID-19. So now it's not an attack on our freedom of speech. It's an infringement of our rights to actually pray and have a spiritual practice for any sickness that we experience concerning this particular virus. If this doesn't concern you, stay prayed up, y'all, literally.